Military observers have stated that Xi Jinping is dismantling China's armed forces and appointing generals who are prepared to fight, a move that may result in an invasion of Taiwan and force the United States into World War III. Gordon Chang told Business Insider that the Chinese leader, who is viewed by many as a tyrant, is trying to gain control of the military and that he thinks that he needs officers who are prepared to actually fight. Chang, China is going to war, claims that she believes that many of China's general officers don't want to fight. Consequently, he claimed, the Chinese premier perceives a military led by an officer corps that is reluctant about going to war. China asserts that self-governing Taiwan is its territory, and in light of Xi's more belligerent language and fictitious blockades of the island, concerns have grown that he is preparing an invasion in the near future, as for Beijing's never-ending declaration that it will use force to seize any province it considers to be rebellious, Xi has stated that unification is inevitable. However, Beijing has also been embroiled in low-key conflicts over adjacent islands with Japan and the Philippines, as well as low-key conflicts with India along their shared border. He has implemented numerous changes since assuming power in 2012, reducing staff, enhancing the military civilian corporation, and restructuring Beijing's armed forces. He fired nine senior offices at once on December 29, 2023, a move that analysts and U.S. intelligence claimed was intended to eradicate corruption. Chang, though, told Business Insider that this hypothesis is incorrect, since all of them would be sacked if that were the case. Rather, he thinks that the cops who were struck off probably didn't want to fight. He cited General Liu Yazo of the Chinese Air Force as one example, who issued a warning against an invasion of Taiwan. He was given a suspended death sentence in February 2022. Business Insider was informed by Joel Wuthnow, another expert on China, that she is concerned about the quality of people and equipment he has invested in over the last decade, and that he thinks he cannot rely on his military as a result of the removals. According to the journal, the nine commanders who were dismissed were part of China's rocket force, which Wuthnow predicted would be essential to any military operation directed by Beijing. China has recently shown hostility against its neighbors. Its navy frequently comes into close contact with Filipino warships in the South China Sea, where it has become more hostile. Beijing and Japan have also contended over the Senkaku Islands, with Beijing utilizing the fishing industry to support its claims. Additionally, soldiers have engaged in physical combat in confrontations between China and India in the Himalayan Galwan Valley, China acknowledged that it had lost four soldiers in the conflict in 2021, but Taiwan, which just elected a new president on Saturday who is against reunification with China, may be the most worrying flashpoint. For the past five years, China has repeatedly invaded Taiwan's air defense zone, raising concerns about an impending invasion. The Chinese military held the biggest ever maritime war simulation in September 2023, along with 20 other warships. Beijing's Shandong aircraft carrier was among them, while dozens of airplanes violated Taiwan's airspace. Despite Xi's rising rhetoric of war, Chang told Business Insider that it is impossible to foresee where a major flare-up could originate from first. China will surely be reunified, and all Chinese on both sides of the Taiwan Strait should be bound by a common sense of purpose and share in the glory of the rejuvenation of the Chinese nation. President Xi declared in his speech to the nation on New Year's Day. It is also said that she informed U.S. President Joe Biden of his plan to seize Taiwan. However, Wuth now stated that following Russia's invasion of Ukraine, the Chinese leader is now more wary of any attack on the island. He has observed how the conflict has affected the standing of fellow dictator Vladimir Putin in Russia, as well as the West's backing of Kyiv. Chang, however, issued a warning stating that all the elements are present for a third world war, with hostilities escalating on several fronts worldwide. He mentioned Ukraine, the military action in the Red Sea, and worries that violence could spread throughout the Middle East, Israel's battle on Hamas in Gaza, and insurgencies in Africa. Chang brought up the 1930s build-up to World War II and the way many conflicts combined to become the conflict that is now known as World War II. 
he predicted that a battle in East Asia would spread to Western nations, saying, the same dynamics exist today, and it's entirely possible, some people can even argue that it's probable that these will merge into a global conflict.